Hey everyone, I'm Cosmo and welcome to another episode of Time Loader where I continue on my adventure as a time meddling robot uh, to try and prevent a certain tragedy. So let's keep going guys. If you haven't checked out the first episode, I'll have it in the link down below. Check it out. I love this game. Only a few details have changed, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. This is one of those we'll games that I... the cat oh. away if we want to save Adam. <laughs> Are you done? Okay. I don't want to interrupt you again. <laughs> I was going to say this is one of those games that I just, I absolutely can't wait to play again. And I almost like hate the fact that I'm recording it because I just want to keep playing it in like one sit through, you know? But unfortunately, I have to exercise my utmost patience uh, so I can experience this with you guys. And hey, I'm all for it. Alrighty, let's keep going. So we pulled the we pulled the breaker and that didn't do a whole lot. Uh, it just kind of changed the timeline. Now the cat is kind of the uh, the culprit. Can we do it? Right. Well, I don't think I can pull that up anyway. So let's uh, let's climb up to the roof here. Now, how do I do that? There we go. And now we swing here. Perfect. We made it through. I think that's exactly what I needed to do. Go down here, and I guess somehow have to. Oh, go up the horse up to here. Check out that robot arm. Uh, it must be here. an ancestor of mine. Nice, but nice. Adam hasn't finished it yet. Is this a guillotine? That's that's awkward. All right, all right. That's cool. Now what? Parkour, 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 parkour. Okay, well that clearly doesn't work. Uh, can I lower it back down? Nope. <laughs> yeah, there's the robot arm there. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see. There we go. That makes sense. And now up the vent. Perfect. Alrighty, let's go to the roof. Yeah, it's like Mario. In we go! Whee! Okay, up. And exit. Are we on the roof now? Affirmative. Good stuff. Okay, go back to the attic. What? It literally just said, go to the roof. And then it's like, go back to the attic. Okay, I guess I'll just keep going this way. See what's up. That bird poop. Oh man, this robot is still so dang cool to me. It's so versatile, I love it. Okay, so that gutter kind of tipped. That's not good. And by tipped, I mean broke off. Oh boy. Oh, okay, that's just the sound of the wheels. I'm like, is it? Is it about to crack? Ooh, look at this, it's a nest. Caw, caw, caw. I'm a baby bird. Feed me, feed me. <laughs> uh, definitely bird poop. Okay, let's go. At first, I thought it was a cyclist on the loading screen, but it's the little robot. I'm so ridiculous. Climb up to the treehouse. Aight, aight. We need to turn the fan off, or we'll never get outside. Yeah, How sure seems we like it. Button? Well, let's uh, let's figure out. Let's figure it out. We'll figure all this other stuff out. Oh, we can push the car. Excellent. Let's get underneath here, though. Let's see what this does. Okay, turn it again. Okay. Can I push the car into it? Oh, hey, it's the uh, it's the plant on the other side. Maybe we can give it more light. It sure as heck needs more light. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Got the car in there. Now let's get it turned around. Love this little robot. Man, it's so cool. Perfect. Cool, 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 cool. Alrighty. Let's grab this thing. Wait, what do we need to do with that? Oh, I just need to use it as a step. Herp derp. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Alrighty. Let's pull the plug. Turn the fan off. Oh, I guess the switch. Excellent. Perfect. There's a nifty screwdriver as a crowbar. Okay. <laughs> nice. Now to scare the cat. Oh boy. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Here, Here's the kitty. Cat. How can we scare it away? Well, I don't want to hurt the cat. That is definitely not something I want to do. Oh. Okay. Can we move this? Like right underneath the cat. Tough to say, because where do I want the cat to go? Let's try leaving the balloon here. I think that way the cat will hear it a lot easier than if it's under the bed when I pop it. Perfect. <laughs> Amazing. Great shot. I actually don't think it matters where I pop the balloon, to be honest. I think I'm overthinking this. Let's just pop it from here. Need to chase it as far away from here as possible. <laughs> yeah. I really don't think it mattered where I popped the balloon. <laughs> oh boy. All right, let's get the kitty out of here. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Man, all this bird poop. Ah. The cat could easily get back inside. Okay. Me. Hello. We need to chase it further away from Hello. The tree. No, back right at you. Hey. Arr. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh no. Not sure if I have to lure it into here, or. Or if I have to find something in here that will help 
shoo it off the top of the roof. But in any case... Oh, right, right here. This is cool. <laughs> oh, drops the barrel in. That's cool. Very nice. And now we can get through. I wonder if this will scare it. Oh! Oh man, it was really close to its tail. Insufficient. Insufficient. To chase the cat even further away. Well, yeah. Oh, boink. What was that all about, buddy? Now what? Where's the kitty at? Oh, maybe I gotta drive on top here? Most likely. And off to the shed we go. Okay, that looks sketchy. I feel like if we let that clamp go, those two planks will come apart. But hey, I'm all for it. Let's go. Very nice. <laughs> Alrighty, now I can get up here and up here. Awesome, now I can pull this bin. Hello. Back down into the V-shape. Okay, is that it? I kind of feel like I missed stuff or potentially missed stuff. Maybe not. This is fairly fast paced right now. Not so much solving, more like just chasing the cat around the yard. <laughs> Remote control for the car. Ah, okay, I see what it is. Oh, hey, hi, kitty. Hi, kitty. Uh, hey. I'll be back. Yeah, I'll be back, all right. Kitty just wants the steak. Kitty doesn't want to become steak. Kitty just wants the steak. Now, what does this do? Oh, interesting. Do I drive the car up further? Okay, okay, this thing's like a proper crawler, I guess. All right. I guess the 90s had some pretty good RC cars. <laughs> if you guys grew up around that time, you know the struggle of uh, having cars that only turn one way and you have to like reverse to turn it. It basically had two functions, drive straight or like left and backwards. And that was literally the only way to turn the car around. It was, uh, it was rough. <laughs> Alrighty, let's start this thing up. Still insufficient. What do we do? Oh, what? I can't grab that. Well, I mean, maybe. Didn't even give Kitty the steak, man. What the heck? The what? Probably gotta hop onto the grill. I just didn't want to ruin these people's food, you know? It's kind of like unsanitary. Oh, yeah. All over your steak. Ooh. Ah. Oh, no. Oh no! Oh no! That is an epic fight. Alright, let's see what that did. Aww. Is he sad he had to fight the kitty? Aww. Kid's sad! The kid's sad he can't fight his cat! That's awful. Act 2. I feel like I should have finished Act 1 in the last video, but it's okay. Here we are. Sleep mode deactivated. 2020 beta timeline. Good morning. Huh? Are we back in the future? I guess he just lay dormant for years. Wow. All right. That's cool. That's also kind of creepy. I wonder what's going to happen. The attic looks weird. Something must have happened in this timeline. Did we cause like an apocalypse? Oh my god. Okay, let's let's keep exploring. Man, this is not what I expected at all. I expected to keep having to do stuff to try and change the timeline in the past, but here we are, act two, and we're in the future. Let's listen to this. Ugh, why doesn't dad trust me? Science is dangerous. No science fair is for you, Adam. But I'm gonna run away and go to the science fair anyway. I'm going to be a great scientist. Tomorrow's the big day. Looks like Adam has been butting heads with his father. What happened between them? <laughs> alright, alright, what are your theories, guys? My theory is Adam became an automotive scientist. Most evil automotive scientist to ever walk the lands. And he harnessed the power of the sun into his big single turbo 2JZ and ended up blowing the crap out of his dad's garage. Because that sure as heck looks like what happened here. <laughs> Alrighty, well, let's keep going. Is there any more messages? Why doesn't nope, that same thing. Me? Okay, let's keep going. No ah, ah. You, oh, hey, is that guillotine? Can we lower it now? Oh, I guess we can raise it again. No, oh, no, it's going down. We gotta be quick about it. Hello? Oh, no. <laughs> I gotta be quicker than that. Alrighty, there we go. Made it. 
Do I go here? Nope, I don't think so. I think I have to go, oh, I have to go up here, likely. Man, the house done exploded for show. Aw, oh, man. Careful. Perfect. Oof. Oof. House looks awful. Oof. There's debris and signs of a fire everywhere. Yeah. We should take a look around. No kidding. Tell him man. That 2JZ was pulling hard, baby. Oh, there's the robotic arm. Can I go right and see what's up? I recognize this robot arm. Yes. Looks like Adam still hasn't finished the controls. No. I don't think Adam's alive, bro. What happened here? It's pitch black. We need to turn the power back on. Hopefully the circuit breaker is still in the laundry room. <laughs> man. <laughs> The whole point of Act 1 was turn the power off. Now Act 2, turn the power on! <laughs> okay, okay. I see what you're doing, game. This is very, uh, very ominous. I am really curious to know what happened here. Right, it's one of those. Oh, PS1. Interesting. It's hard to say when this all happened. I guess we'll find out. Oof. Oof. The garage Moldy. is dilapidated too. But at least the fire didn't reach it. Was there actually a fire though? I mean, I guess the, the robot's it's saying there was a fire. Time hasn't been kind to oh, it. oh, 1997. 97 is the last time they changed the calendar at least. <laughs> Let's flick the it's light really on. It's really dark in the basement. We'll need to light the way somehow. Uh -huh. Maybe we can find something useful in the spare parts box. Huh, I can pull the car. Push? Push the car. Nice. Good stuff. Ooh, what's Tragedy in the paper? Struck the Wright household late Tuesday night. No. The Wrights were asleep when a fire broke out. The neighbors say the fire started in the attic, then spread to the rest of the house. Unfortunately, the firefighters were unable to save Thomas Wright, his wife, Mary, or their young son, Adam. The matter is still under investigation. But why is the paper there? Adam is... Dead? Wow. No, that's impossible. I saved him. He was supposed to grow up to be a star athlete or a scientist. How did this happen? And I was joking when I it's said that. Because dead. of me. That's rough. I need to put everything back the way it was. How though? How are we supposed to do that, bro? We gotta travel back in time again. How are we gonna do that, homie? Ah, oh, jeez, what are we done, man? That is the least bueno of all buenos. A new sign? Great! Let's collect as many as Great! we can! Great! <laughs> she, she just found out that everybody died and he's excited. Okay, let's get back and uh, find this spare parts box. Well, this just got depressing. Is it because we were messing around with the breaker and stuff? I doubt it, because it seems like it happened like years later. Get up on this thing, over the gas can, up into here, probably not, fall down, excellent, nice, nice, great, yeah, perfect. Made it. I did miss something up there, I don't know what it was. Uh, do I have to go up and then on the bumper? Might have to do that, yep. And how is the robot still around if, if Adam's dead? Would he then never create the robot, you know? I don't know, I don't know. I know you want what's best for Adam, but please stop encouraging him. Adam's obsession with science is getting out of hand, and I'm afraid he'll hurt himself. Oh no. Yesterday he short-circuited the power. Short we almost had a fire. Is 2JZ, bro. Sincerely, Tom. Rough. Could Adam really have started the fire? Did he lose control of his experiments? It's no. It's possible. I don't believe that. Well, I don't know, man. Maybe you should believe that, because that that seems to be kind of likely. Shouldn't have messed with that baseball tape, man. Shouldn't have messed with that baseball tape. What's going on here? Can we, like, jump and eat? There we go. I was gonna say. Where's that going? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I wanna come. Nice. Thankfully, Adam's <laughs> father isn't here to see this. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, well. Uh, yeah. Too soon, bro. Guess the front windshield was already broken. Oh, that's a spare parts bin. Excellent. Let's see what we can get. Now we can transmit electricity through the air. Hopefully this will help us fix everything. We need to turn the lantern on first. 
Uh huh. There's only one way to fix this: build a time machine and go back in time. Uh, yeah. I mean, sure. Are you capable of doing that, little guy? I mean, I believe in you. Get, yeah. Get get through. Yeah. Trying to parkour, parkour, but it's not working. Here and off we go. Nice. All right. Can we? Now can we, we do anything? Everything. Nice. Let's go. Beauty. Let's go. I don't know how that lights up the whole basement, but whatever. That helps you. Look at all this water. Ooh. How can we get to the other side? This is dangerous, to say the least. Bzz. Oh, nice. <laughs> Bzz. Basement is full of water. That's rough, man. Oh boy. Okay, good, good, good. This is crazy. Typewriter. Okay. Oh, fan. Nice. Now I think... Oh, he's gonna electrify the fan. <laughs> That's awesome. Little boat. Okay. <laughs> That's neat. That's neat. Oh, boink. Oh, hey, can we light up this thing? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I don't, I don't want to be there. I don't want to be there. Let's do it from here. Sweet. We got a light. Hey, we got a proper boat now, man. Now what? Um. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, how does that help me? That's clever, though. And electrify the fan again. Happened? We worked so hard. We just make things worse. Tell you, man. Shouldn't have messed with I'm the cat. It's bad juju. This, Let's hope this bridge still works. Oh, wow. How ironic. Come on. Come on. Up, up, up. Up, up, up. Nice. Oh, okay. Perfect. I almost did not grab that. I'm, like, stuck on it. I quite literally cannot let go. What? Do I have to restart this? Oh, good thing we're back here. Getting good at this. <laughs> Perfect. Worked that time just fine. Oof. Lucky. <laughs> or are we? Oh, right. I can go through the water. I forgot. Let's go. This is so cool. Crazy, man. Everything's underwater. A generator. I hope it works. Let's try it. It worked. The ah. is back on. We should go Good back stuff. to the living room and take a look around. What does this do? Bzz. Oh, hey, it's a little hole. Looks like the only way through is underwater. The lid is blocking the way down. Ah, I know what we gotta do. Gotta do the roly poly oly. We gotta do this. I think I have down. to get this closer first. Perfect. And now we activate it. Yep, now it's gonna roll under and I'll be able to get through. Good stuff. Big brain. Good thing we're fully waterproof. Get inside the pipe now. But how do we reach it? Interesting. There's a barrel there. There we go. Push the barrel. I don't know if that's gonna do anything, but it oh yes, I think the it'll float that up higher. Box out of the way. Nice. Can we jump up there now? Let's try. Oh boy, can we even get out this way? Slowly but surely. Any extra tools that I can get here? Probably not. This microwave should do the trick. Yeah. <laughs> In order to enable temporal transference, we'll also need a cell phone, a radio, and a time chip. A time I chip? I saw a cell phone around here somewhere. Bruh. Yeah, let me just go to the time chip market. See what they have for time chip selection. Can we get anything out of this phone? Tom, I tried not to interfere, but you were supposed to support Adam, to help him. But because of your parenting, he ran away from home in no. the middle of the night. He's only 12, Tom. Who knows what could happen to him? That's rough. Okay, well, we got to find all this stuff so we can get the heck out of here. Very depressing time. Ooh, cell phone. Got to turn the treadmill on somehow. Perfect. Oh, right. I don't have to go that high. <laughs> I just got to go here. Hey. The phone still works. It just needed a little tweak. Nice. Now we just nice, need buddy. to find a that's, radio that's and make great. a time chip. And we're oh, going we make to need a time some real chip. tools okay. now. We should check the rest of the house. 
Let's go. Been to the laundry room yet. My gosh. Let's go to the laundry room. I wonder what kind of laundry they have. Oh, no. I got to push it from the other side again. Derp. Grab that and lower it. Sweet. Hello? Hello? Can I go underneath, actually? Perfect. <laughs> nice. That's just going to keep spinning. That's cool, man. Oh, 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 <laughs> Let's see if I can stay up on here. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it does speed up. It does speed up. Can't keep up. Ah, oh, it's not on. What does that say? Nixon resigns. Cool. And we're out. Hopefully the kitchen or the laundry room is less depressing. All right, well, pretty depressing. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought there might be glass there. Definitely not. Ooh, what's this? Stick. Give me stick. I feel like I have to use it as like a, like a stick to swing on, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it, to be honest. Okay. Not sure how that helps me yet, but might be the move. I think I have to throw it in there. Perfect. Look at that. Man, this house got messed up. Oh no. There's a huge hole in the floor. It leads right to oh, the laundry okay. room. Okay, that was intended. We can't move the board because of the box. We need to find a way to stop the box from moving. Right. Hey, 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 relax. Aha, we need to get that pot. Really? Yeah, okay, perfect. We need to push all this in. Okay, excellent. Huh, is the pot actually not going to help us? Well, whatever. Let's try. Don't know how this is going to help us. Oh, like that. <laughs> okay, makes sense. Let's go. We're in the creepy basement now. Very nice. Mushrooms growing in here. Wonderful. Oh, this is the laundry room. That's right. Ugh, sounds crusty. Roll this guy back. Can we do that? Looks tough, but we're doing it. Nice. Look at that. Let me get on top here. Perfect. That works out. And the vibe is so creepy right now. Oh, do I have to pull? I have to pull it back. I have to get in here and I have to pull it back, I believe. Okay, got it. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Up we go. Find more tools. Solve more mysteries. Soldering iron, a nice. Soldering iron, just what we need to make a time chip. Uh huh. And all these other rare materials, most likely. Like, dude. <laughs> snippity snippity. Oh, never mind. This soldering iron. Soldered the really wires. Come in handy. <laughs> oh, perfect. There's a way to go this way. That's cool. Well, that doesn't help me, or does it? Nice. Oh, it does help me. I need to move it over the other way. Move it slightly further to the middle. And that'll help me use it as a swinging point to the other side. So like right here. Probably good. Tarzan. <laughs> nice. Good stuff. Oh boy, what's that? Is that like a zip line? Can we go in the zip line? Nice. This is getting creepier, man soldering iron to solder the time chip to the radio but where are we supposed to find all the stuff we need that's what i'm saying dude <laughs> a bit of a problem we have all kinds of electronics in his room we can probably find an old radio in the attic i like how he keeps saying find the time chip dude where like like please explain to me where we're supposed to find the time chip can't really do anything with that quite literally cannot do anything with that ah but i can zap this most likely Fix it and Almost zap it. Done. There we go. Do the thing. Move the chair. Nice. Most excellent. Um. Right. <laughs> I need to grab onto it when it, after it does that. Go here and I grab on. Whoop, whoop. Did I go in here? See what's here? Uh, probably shouldn't, but let's go. The tape recorder still works. Huh. But how do we press that red button? What's this? Weakest link? Okay. 
Very odd. What can I use that for, I wonder? Oh, I can use that ball to throw the button, probably. Throw it over to this side. Perfect. Stay there, please. Let's see what other clues we can discover. Nice. Oh, is that it? I thought it was gonna play a message. I feel like I'm going the wrong way. Or I guess I'm not. Hey, is there a remote control car? Cool. This is all so gloomy, but I'm so intrigued. I see another, like, letter or something? Let's see what it says. Maybe more failed parenting notes. Dear Thomas, don't worry. I'm glad Adam is writing to me. It's great that he's interested in science, and I'd be more than happy to help. Enthusiasm like his is rare nowadays. I'm sure that as long as Adam doesn't get burned out, he'll grow up to be an outstanding scientist. Sincerely, Aaron Lance. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I didn't check the other letter. Aaron Lance? That's the professor who taught Adam robotics in our timeline. I guess they met here too. Yup. Now what, buddy? I suppose that was the only thing I was supposed to discover here. Alrighty, let's go back and uh, find uh, find a time ship. I Wait, what? Interesting. There's more pathways for me to go. And I go here. Seems like it. Nice. Where am I going now? Oh, we're in the attic and we need to look for the radio. Right. The vine just withered away without any sunlight. Yes, it did. We could never do anything about it for some reason. I feel like there was something back here as well. These metals? Let's go check those. Adam must have wanted to record something on this tape, but he couldn't do it because it was right protected. Uh-oh. <laughs> Wasn't me. <laughs> oh, jeez. That's what happens, guys. That's what happens when you meddle with time. Anyone there? Nope. Gotta go this way. Let's adjust this thing in my jigger. I think I can go higher with it now. Is that oh okay, no, lower. That makes sense. <laughs> it's like a Rube Goldberg machine. Very cool. It's amazing how all this stuff is just set up in such a coincidental way, you know? <laughs> I haven't seen a vinyl record in a while. Actually, my girlfriend has some vinyl, but we don't have a record player, so go figure. Umbrella? Uh-oh. <laughs> there we go. Well, I guess now I can get in the chair and actually turn the lights on. I suppose that makes sense. Yay! All right, what does this say? More Dear mysterious Wright, notes. We have carefully examined all the documents, and our analysis has determined that the fire was started by rats that chewed through a power cable. Okay. Given the circumstances, the insurance company is under no obligation to compensate you for any damages. You may inherit the house, but you will be obligated to repair it. The cost of these repairs would be several times the market value of the house. Sincerely, Lawrence Parker of Clark Parker and Parkinson. Wow. So it was all because of rats? If I hadn't changed the past, if I hadn't gotten rid of the cat, True. none of this would have happened. I'm going to fix everything, Adam. I promise. Oh, man. See? Should have kept the cat around, man. Hey, this radio is in great shape. <laughs> It'll be perfect Found for it. setting temporal coordinates. Okay, now we just got to solder up a microchip. No big deal. Done. We just need one last component. Where do we find it? Back to the hallway we go. What's he going to have to do now? I guess let the cat back out? Go back into the same time and let the cat back out? At this point, we're just changing too many things, you know? Like, it's dangerous. Do we need to use this guy again, most likely? Oh, I think I know what we have to do. I think I have to swing halfway through. Oh, so close. Did you guys see that? That was so close. Oh, I think I might be able to do it from the other side. Don't think I actually have to do it in midair. I think I can wait until I get to the other side. Well, this episode is definitely kind of long, guys, but I do want to get to the other act, uh, simply because, well, I feel like we're getting close. This is just so ma mesmerizing. Mesmerizing. <laughs> oh, I'm awful at this. It's a cool robotic arm. Very neat. Interesting how it has like just the right function for what we needed to do. <laughs> nice. 
Nice. One more. There you go. Adam's room. Let's see what this place looks like. Adam's Mad Science Laboratory. Adam's Science Lab. Nice sign. Looks homemade. Pretty cool sign. Is there any symbols on it? I don't think so. Let's find a way to make this time chip. Come on. Oh, I gotta push it. Okay, that works. <laughs> I need more space. <laughs> I like that poster. No, 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 no. Are you kidding me, man? Okay, stay there. Don't move. It's very crucial that you did not move. Thank goodness. <laughs> okay, and now we move the little guy out of the way. Well, the smaller of the two. Fire trucks are still pretty darn big. Perfect. And now we're good. Oh, his computer's still on somehow. Maybe we can turn it on. It looks like it's already on, buddy. This looks like an antivirus folder. Okay. It might come in handy. Adam in the lab. Adam with the cat. Adam with his mom. Password protected? Oh, we have the password. What? Too bad we don't have it. Guess we won't be able to open these folders. I guess not. We need the password. Uh, is he just typing in random it. keys? What the heck, dude? To open these folders. Okay, okay I, I, the I'm not trying to do that anymore, Too bad though. We don't have it. Guess we won't be able to open these folders. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of stuff going on. Maybe we'll come back to that. Maybe we'll find the passwords. Never know. Man, Adam's dead. What a bummer. I'm just, I'm still processing it, you know? What a bummer. It looks like Adam's dad made this sign himself. He must have been really proud of Adam. Yes, much proud. Yeah. I found a quote from a certain scientist today. He said, an athletic achievement is one man's victory, but a scientific achievement is a victory for all mankind. I think he's right. I want to become a scientist. I just know I can use science to change the world. Kid's got a good heart. Now let's get it back. Yeah, All right, we got the stuff we need. With a time chip are stored in my memory. <laughs> right? We'll have to cut a few corners. I, I, I would imagine. Works. It's not exactly uh, 2020. Wait, no, I guess it is 2020. The time machine is ready. We just need to set the coordinates. But all the stuff in the house is still very old. Hopefully this will work. Back into the microwave. Well, guys, there you have it. It's act two. We went back to the past. I was going to say back to the future, but we came back to the past. Oh, not the wheels again. <laughs> the wheels fell off me. again. Oh, man. Well, guys, I'm going to call it an episode here. It's definitely going to be a long one already, but I'm really excited to keep going. I know I got a little bit quiet there at the end, but I think I just got really into the game and, you know, the mood of the game was really, like, somber and, uh... A little bit depressing, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm still really, really liking the game. And uh, I'm, I'm really excited to see where we go from here. So definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys did enjoy the video, click the like button down below. Helps the video be seen by other people. The algorithm does its magic. If you guys aren't subscribed yet, subscribe for more Time Loader episodes. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!